Oh, Joyce Mechanized McBrubin says, How I missed you. How I missed you in the one day that I was gone. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Kirby's Return to Dreamland EX. So, last time, we got started on Egg Engines, had a bit of a recording mishap along the way. And now I have to constantly monitor the the uh, microphone quality. So today, we are going to continue on with Egg Engines, because Egg Engines is all about eggs, obviously. What else wouldn't it be? Alright, so, now you have sort of a similar section to that one level in uh, White Wafers, where you have all this wind, and now you have these conveyor, these, uh, all these conveyor belts, uh, forcing you to move forward. So, yeah. That's basically a thing. That was a thing that happened. And, ah, God, okay. Well, at least the dazzle ruining the sound hasn't changed. All right, let's actually use needle. I've been neglecting needle for a while, so I might as well, might as well use it. Um, I know there's one part in, uh, in this part where uh, you have to so, sort of stop where you're going. Yep, right here. So you have to get that switch, and there you go, first sphere. And now we can move forward without any given caution. I should probably shave my mustache. <laughs> yeah, I should probably shave my mustache because now I'm looking like Fu Manchu, as my mom would say. All right, so now we get to actually proper hear this mini boss tune. All right, King Du and Mundo. Okay, so now we get to fight two mini bosses at once. Wow. Okay, I didn't mean to do the wheel needle thing, but okay. I guess that's. I guess I did it. All right. So let's. Uh, I haven't actually beaten the mini boss with needle yet, or at least a major enemy with needle yet. So it should be interesting. And up. Oh. Okay. Uh, never mind. Okay, never mind. I'll use beam. I'll use beam. All right. Yeah, as you can actually hear, this mini-boss tune is actually pretty cool. Like, I prefer this one over the, uh, one that we've been hearing on Popstar. Since this is the, uh... Come on. <laughs> yeah, you can jump over the, th the thing. Okay. That's cool. It's cool that you can do that. Alright. Let's see. Alright, so stone. I don't know how that passes through, but okay. Uh, yeah, but like I said, that mini boss tomb right there. I actually prefer that one over, uh, over the one that we've been hearing on Popstar. So, yeah. That's why I prefer. That's my opinion. And that's the spear right there. Hooray. Whoop! Yeah. Might as well get that spear before it falls into the abyss and you die. Yep. Just avoid everything. And now I blew. Oh, yep. Yep. Stars. You know what that means. You know what that means. Time for a whoop star of excellence. Actually, no, it doesn't mean that. It also means... It means... We get to use this again. Alright, flare beam time. So, just like in the sky tower, uh... You'll want to use the flare beam in order to light up all these things. All at once, mind you. Well, not all at once, just before the flare beam, you know, disappears. So, ow. Okay, good thing there's food here. Am I right? I'm correct. All right, so keep on doing this. And No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. All right, get the coins. And I believe there's nothing else here. Like, uh, I was get confused as to whether or not, like, uh, since this is a super ability level, obviously, like, the dimension thing is gonna appear in this part. Even though I keep rem I keep uh, forgetting that it's not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be in the next part. So, yeah. It's supposed to be in the next part. Alright, get the... Actually, yeah, get the coins. Because if all goes well, I might as well do the boss of this part. Of this section, I guess. Or in this recording session. Bleh. Alright. So now, get them all grouped up. And... Do it. Yeah! There we go. 
Now, coming from below, these gates will open up, get a maximum tomato, and the dimension hole. The big old dimension hole. Hooray. Okay, so once again, we got a, a little water section here. Of course. Obviously. And you have to avoid the Shotso's cannons. Because those somehow disappear in the water. For some reason. Also, what am I doing following the uh, water? I should be... Uh, I should be not doing that. Because the water flow will suddenly appear and screw me over. And speaking of screwing me over, uh, screw yesterday. <laughs> screw yesterday because I was recording part 12 for nearly an hour. Because uh, my microphone just had to, you know, stop working for some reason. Yeah, it had to stop working for some weird reason. Which is why I was forced to, like, switch over to post-commentary for the second half of the episode. And that's why you heard, like, all those audio clipping issues. Because I got freaking frustrated with the fact that, you know, my microphone decided to not work for that day. So now I have to constantly... So now I have to constantly monitor the situation. Just in case things goes wrong. Just in case things go wrong. And if it does, then, you know, so be it. Hammer! But yeah, editing is not that hard. It's now it's recording that's hard suddenly. And I'm gonna show you how absolutely, utterly broken Hammer can be against the Spear Doomers. Yeah, look at that! Look at that! I nearly take out half of the Doomers' HP. Or health, whatever. And, oh jeez, oh no! 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 My, my thing! My Hammer thingy, my baby! Okay, that freaking does it. That freaking does it. That freaking does it. I'm going to inhale this so hard. That is, if I can. I don't want to be, like, too risky or anything like God. Okay. Do it. All right. So now it's time to have his health. So now it's going to create those ice fields. Blah, blah, blah. Again, just like Granddad does. And whoa. Oh. Nope. Nope. I said no. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. I'm gonna die, am I? <laughs> I'm gonna die against the Doomer. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Okay. Alright. Come on. Okay, there we go. Reality is back to normal. Snap back to reality. There doesn't go gravity. There! God. <laughs> Why did I have such a hard time with that? Why did I? I'll tell you why, because that Doomer was shit. That Doomer was just shit. But whatever. At least I got all the spheres. I didn't have to go back for anything, thank god. Thank you, lord. Alright, goal game again, let's see. And... Oh! I thought I had the proper timing just right. Jeez. I'm still waiting on getting this one variation of, uh, the Kirby Dance. Like, if I can find a picture of it online, if I don't get it this playthrough, then I will probably show it off. But, I'm, I'm still just waiting on that. Like, seriously. Stage four. Oh boy, this is a long stage. Now do you see precisely why I, uh, I wanted this to be, you know, sort of like three videos for Egg Engines? Because Egg Engines is a long world. It's a long world. <laughs> and I know the next one isn't really that long. But, like, <laughs> but like, seriously. Alright, so for this one, we're gonna have to use fire. Because I don't think there's a candle in this part. So, yeah, just watch out for that. Yeah, there is a candle. Okay. I thought there wasn't one, but... Okay. I guess they gave me to that. I guess they gave me that for free. All right, so keep on carrying the candle, and lose my fire ability in the process. Okay, there we go. And oh wait, oh wait, hammer, hammer. I don't care if this is. A, I must have hammer. <laughs> I must have it. <laughs> I can't help it. It's my favorite. All right. So yeah, I actually do need hammer because there's a sphere right here. 
And that's number one. That's number one. And my headphones keep slipping out of the thing. <laughs> I know I keep mentioning my headphones a lot. But they really do, like, slip out of my left ear. And that bothers me. And that... And that causes me to, like, lose seconds on everything. Not that I need seconds in the first place. Just... If it's happening in a boss fight, then I... Then I need... Then I need to... To do things. So you want to go over here to this bottom section. From there, I suppose. So I believe there's another sphere here. Yep, right here. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I swear to God, if I miss that. Oh, come on. Nah, I can't. Nah. I don't think it's even worth it. Because I'm about to die anyway. <laughs> Oh god, okay, thank god. Pineapple. Pineapple, I'm keeping hammer. Because hammer is my baby. Alright, get rid of you, spear. Or, or spear. Blah. I can't speak. <laughs> That's my sound of disapproving approval. Disapproving approval. Kibble blade! Uh, oh. Damn it. Alright, I swear to god. I swear to God, if I die... No! Uh-huh. I thought so. I thought I would die. <laughs> I thought I actually died to an enemy in a regular level. Because I guess that had to happen sometime. Oh, God. Well, at least I don't have to go back too far, at least. Alright. Let's see. Let's do this for real. I said, let's do this for real. And not get hit by the same trick again. Okay. Alright. Die, you beach. Die, beach. Die, beach. Die. Die. Poke. And poke. Poke. And I need you. Specifically. I need you specifically. Because you're the only one that can do that. And you're the only one that I need to get the sphere. Brilliant. Alright, let's move on. Alright, so this part... Oh, wait. This part. This part is a little bit of a maze right here. Well, not really so much a maze. It's more like a... A way to do things, I guess. So, the energy sphere is right there. So, what you want to do is go over to the right. And I believe you want to go down. To the left. And bada-bing. Easy sphere, actually. Easy to reach sphere. But of course, these sharks will impede your progress, so you just gotta do your little bit of a water gun technique. So, yeah, that's a way to deal with them! Eels. Eels. <laughs> you know what? They may have been inspired by Super Mario 64! Alright. <laughs> God. <laughs> yep, that's what happens when you get swallowed by the eel. You get captured, and you gotta shake the remote, like, really, really fast. And what's the worst part is that there's a door right there that leads to another sphere. And... Yeah. There we go. Now, I believe with this, you have to press the switch at the right time. Oh, right here. Yeah, you gotta use spark in order to... see the thing that you need. Which... Uh, well... Obviously, we want to do this one to get the key. So we can do that. Oh, and also about the keys. Also about the keys. I should probably mention this before I go absolutely crazy because, trust me, it's going to be a necessity to you later on. Keys are timed. I'm just going to say that right now. Keys are timed. Just saying. All right. So, let's continue on with this current here, and there we go. We have done World 6-4. Very nice indeed. Very good. Alright. Yeah. That is the absolute ticket I needed. Yeah. I like the Kirby dance. Kirby dances are always fun to do. Alright, so with that being said, I do think we are done here, as well. 
Again, short video because this is a long world. I don't want to spend too much time here. So, we're going to stop things here. Next time on Kirby's Return to Dreamland EX, we're going to finish up Egg Engines. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.